Stu plays here with... <laughs> Ali Gaming. <laughs> Ali Gaming. Hey, Ali plays Stu, Stu Gaming here. We're here to just talk about the game, introduce both of us, and, you know, what's going on, man? What did you want to talk about today? Um, let's talk about how we both started uh, making content, like, around the same time. Yeah, we did. Like, Rachel Legends. Like, how'd you, get, how'd you get into it? I just, uh, I wasn't doing much around the house. My wife wanted me to do something and shave more often, so... <laughs> I just started, I started making videos, right? You see, you see, you see other people do it and you're like, all right, let me just try it out for fun. Let me just try to do some for your friends. And then all of yeah. a sudden you just start, you know, having, having a good time. It's like a, a hobby for you and you just, you just start doing it, man. So, that's, how, that's how the legend of Sue started. That's how, the, that's right. <laughs> that's how it all became. How about you? How'd yeah. you get into this? Um, well, I wasn't really playing Rage Shadow Legends in the beginning. I would just finish uh, playing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You know that game, right? Right, right. Yeah, so I was playing that game and I had enough of it. Uh, I was dabbling a little bit, uh, making content for it, but I was using like my iPhone. So I was making videos on iMovie, which is it's pretty hard, right? Because it takes a long time. So <laughs> yeah. Like a three minute video. So my videos are like three to four minutes long and I wasn't like doing any uh, face cam. All right. Or wasn't even, yeah. So it was just like text and uh, music in the background, things like that. Yeah, so then I sold my account for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to do, uh, don't really want to do videos anymore. And then I just got an email from Plarium. They asked me if I wanted to be a content creator. So I was like, oh, let's try it out. Oh, nice. Here I am. Yeah. So they got you into it. So Plarium pulled yeah, you they in, got man. Me into it. <laughs> they sucked you in. They tricked they you. They got me into it. Got gotcha. you. Now they got me spending money on the game. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. The big spender. Yeah, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is a, is a really popular game. I played Marvel Strike Force for a long time. Very similar. And oh, I play that too. I love it. I love Marvel Strike Force until they came out yeah. with the Red Star whole thing. I played it for a full year. I, I ran a, a guild, an alliance in Marvel Strike Force, and it was work. You know, you always have to keep getting new people. People leave. You try to. Mm-hmm. It, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I think the raids, the raids in that game were like very hard to do. Yeah, and they're fun. Coordination it's, and everything, right? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but I just couldn't take it after a while. And I still love the game. I love Marvel. You know, Marvel's yeah, amazing. I would. I, sometimes I try to log back into it. It's just hard for me to go back into the older games that I played. I'd rather have like a brand new game we could all just have some fun with. Yeah, I feel the same way, man. But uh, yeah, so we got Raid Shadow Legends. We have what? What have we had recently? Shard openings. You got a, You had a, a new video recently on pulling a... What'd you pull? Oh, I pulled uh, Duchess Lilitu. Right. Yeah, she, I, pulled, I, I opened up 10 Ancient Shards and I got her. She's pretty cool. Um, what is What is she? She's crazy, man. Uh, I think she's uh, Demon Spawn. Demon Spawn. Oh yeah, there she is. is. And she looks amazing. Yeah, she's crazy man. Does she I do think the? She's a reskin, though. <laughs> she does the um, the block debuff, yeah, per- perfect veil on everybody. Okay, I faced her quite yeah. a few times in arena, and if I didn't have anything to do AOE, like to really AOE the other team down, I, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah, but also her passive ability is crazy. Um, it actually counters oh, the right. AOEs. That's right. Yeah. This is really good. And this is kind of what I wish Veil and Perfect Veil had for anybody who had it, you know, not just this passive. Because, you know, with Veil and Perfect Veil, they can still take that AoE damage. And I kind of wish it, this was built into that for all the other people who have it. Because I don't know. Yeah, that's true, man. Veil, Veil just has never been exciting, right? Since they. Yeah, also with Veil, I feel like an issue is if the counter if, uh, counterattack is up on the enemy champions. Uh, if you hit them, they, still, they can still counter you, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, they do? Stealth, yeah. That doesn't make sense at all. We should talk to, yeah. we, sh- we should message Polarium about that. Because for sure, yeah. if they're stealth, even though they were attacked, they're not going to be able to find you. They'd be swinging and missing, and they wouldn't yeah. be able to see see where you're hitting them from. Because so, they don't have any, they don't really have dodge in this game, right? They don't have any dodge, right? No, no not, yeah. not any kind of dodge, but it makes sense that if you're stealth and you can't be targeted, then why would you? they be able to counterattack you back? Yeah. And that would make so, this yeah, gotta fix that. much stronger. That would make it a lot better. Mm-hmm. Certainly, yeah. Good, good I don't you. mind that. <laughs> Congrats on pulling this girl. I wish. Thanks, I, I wish I would have pulled something. I, I opened like a hundred shards. Attack. Do it now. Yeah. yeah, check out her basic attack. Place the shield buff equal to ten percent of the champion's max HP for two turns on the champion and the lowest. That's right, the lowest ally based yeah, off the of defense. Crazy. Yeah, and she's strong. Look at these stats too. Well, she doesn't really do too much damage. Well, I guess I don't have too much defense on her, but she doesn't really scale well with damage, but she's a crazy support champion. Yeah. I play her. She looks like a lot of fun. 
Yeah, I did, I did a shard opening recently and got nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> it was terrible. Same with me, man. 100 shards. This game, this game is not very uh, very friendly with, with giving us, even though, I mean, look, you look up here and you see all the stuff I got unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just a lot of a lot of spending mostly yeah those are pretty good man mostly a lot of spending for this game mm -hmm. so what else do you love yeah. about this game what, what have you liked recently about the game so far like the changes what have we had about the changes honestly, that honestly like? I like that they have the the platinum tier for arena but I think they need to have more uh, stages into it you know like platinum one two things like that there's like, it's like very limited space for people to go in right yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree. They should they should have the top, you know, even three thousand would be nice, or higher, and yeah, then have it knows. broken down into. And then also the rewards. Uh, you were you in uh, platinum tier when you got your rewards for the week? I, I was. It, it wasn't so amazing. It? Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't. Yeah, the rewards are not good. <laughs> yeah, for, for a full week, it, it wasn't amazing. Like for a full week, you would think it would be better than than what we got. If it was a daily reward, it, would, it might be a little bit too much. But, yeah, daily is too much, I think. But for a week-long reward, it should be a little bit... Well, I just wish it was broken down into, you know, first place gets 500 gems, second place gets 400 gems, third place, you know, and then yeah. a group of 100 get 100 gems. Something a little extra. Like, I don't mind this randomness, but I don't like randomness at all for rewards. Yeah. I just wish there was a little bit more. And I think they're going to go toward that. I think, you know, they, they, they put their... The way they always work, they put their stuff out, right? And then it's never great. And they have to go... <laughs> change it yeah go back and change it up make it better for us right yeah especially after they get a whole bunch of you know input as to they should have already had it right we've already told them what we want <laughs> what we like and what other games have but yeah w once they see it out there i think they start to they make it a little better for us so we'll, we'll see how it goes because because you know the whole fiasco on first place right like we didn't even know who won first place and oh yeah yeah i heard about that when it ended because they don't tell you your ranking. Like when I got my rewards, I didn't. I don't know if I was 50. I don't know if I was 60. I was somewhere around there, maybe 70. Maybe I dropped, but I, all I got was the chest. So, yeah. So we you talked. To better them, drop up that. Yeah, we talked to them about that as well. Getting that. What I really like and what I've what I've been loving is the the ability to come in here and pick your champions from your vault. Oh yeah, yeah. That's now, that's a. That's a pretty big game changer, but right. it should be something that was already implemented into the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. They're yeah. taking a, they're taking a long time to get the cool stuff in yeah. there, but but this has helped out so much to where I can just pull. Like you see, these four are already in the vault. I don't ever yeah. have to bring them out of the vault. I can always use them, and they stay in there. Because I thought when I first read this, they were gonna pop out when you used it, but they actually stay in there. So really happy about that. Super happy. Yeah, that's crazy. You should sell them the spiders. Uh, <laughs> spiders twenty glitch. <laughs> oh yeah, when it when it glitches out, I don't know if it's gonna glitch out though. It's just kind of a, a random thing. It's only happened the last two days to where Spiders Twenty did that. So I don't know if it's gonna be a full time kind of kind of thing or not. You think that only affects uh, higher end players or everybody? For the spiders? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Like I said, it's only be, happened. It'll the, be crazy. It's only happened the last two days, so I don't. <laughs> well, you don't think that'd be crazy if somebody needed that for the Arbiter mission, and then they don't even have the proper team, and then they complete they, it. They get the easy wins. Yeah. But yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it's really happening that much, but they'll mm -hmm. definitely have to, to check into it. So what's your favorite champion in the game here? Because you know I love I love this seer. She's so much War fun mother, for me. Man. War Mother? <laughs> <laughs> She's your girl? She's the one? I don't have I don't have War Mother, but I always uh, like joke about War Mother, but now she's actually pretty good when she got reworked. Oh, is she? I, I haven't seen her. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really seen her do a video like this, like go into dragons and take it down or go into something. Yeah, so she... Do you know what her, her rework is or no? I, I don't remember what it said. Something about doing more bomb damage and... Yeah, so she does, I think, 100% of damage against bosses now with the bombs. Okay. And then her basic attack has a decreased attack on it now. Right. I think it's a double hit. I'm not, sure. I'm not 100% cer certain, but it's pretty good. Okay. So, but uh, but still, I think double bomb damage... Uh, my Lord Shazar can do 21,000 per bomb. So yeah, Lord we, Shazar, I think, is a better uh, better with bombs than her. Right, but even at double damage, like say she could do 40,000 per bomb on a boss, that's still pretty lackluster, I think, compared to normal people's hits or, of course, compared to Royal Guard's hit based off of enemy max HP. It's still pretty... It's, it still seems pretty low. Yeah, they still need to um, do something about the bombs. The damage is pretty low, but I think if you have more attack, 
you will be doing more damage. And that's how, I think that's how bombs scale. Right, it is. Your attack, right? It is, right, right. Only off of attack yeah. only. But even at max attack, I just don't feel that that they'll do enough damage bomb wise, even with her 100% to, to bosses, to make them yeah. viable as a DPS because there's so many champions out here that can do just massive amount of damage. I guess until I see like a war mother doing clan boss or a war mother taking out spiders or something like that, I just, you know, cause they always, they always, yeah, they, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. They, they always like, um, their, their balancing isn't always great. You know, Draco, when they did Draco morph was awesome. Oh yeah. Tomb Lord was pretty cool. I think. And they really brought those champions up from being just not played at all mm -hmm. or, or not played often. And then now with most of their balancing, they do, it's still, we don't get anything that's amazing or, or even, I don't think they, I don't think they want to balance too much because you know, they're trying to release champions. Right. And then people are not going to, people are not going to open up shards if they already have uh, good champions. Right? See, I, I don't believe that. I think people, cause in all these games, even like summoners wars or anywhere else, all these games, who have really good champions, even rares, that can do everything in the game, people still summon. They still do the gotcha pulls. They still want certain champions for arena, for clan boss, for all that kind of stuff. And even if all my rares could do everything, the gotcha aspect of it, I think people always spend money. And, and yeah, that's true. That's always right. try. As, as long as you can balance it to where the rares are useful, but the legendary is like a little bit more powerful, right? Where the legendary would do just, just a, a little bit more does it have to be insane? I mean, they pretty much make it that way in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in this game, if if we have, I don't know, usually, but then every once in a while we'll have like a cold heart, we'll have, but I haven't seen, you know, lately I haven't seen any kind of rare come out that's been like that. I wish they would release a few more rares that would, that would really just blow our minds. Yeah, like cold hearts. <laughs> like a cold heart, right, and want to be yeah. used somewhere, but I, I just don't see it too often. Not that at all, yeah, man. I think, this, this, I think they might be stepping away from that. You think so? I don't. I don't. I, I've heard from the devs that they're trying to like optimize the game even further and make it easier for them. Because I think right now it's hard for them to go back and balance old champions for some reason. And yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, once they can do that, maybe maybe we'll have better champions. I don't know. So, what would be your number so. one pick in the game? Like, if you could balance anything in the game, or if you had like, what are your a couple of your favorite things that you would love to see? What do you mean, like rebalancing champions or just in general, like getting the game? Yeah, it, just in general. Balancing champions is one of them for sure. Yeah, for sure. Balancing champions, I think that they need to uh, reward people that spend money instead of um, making them spend more. You know what I mean? Right. Instead of milking them. Because you know how you get like, different deals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. if you spent money before, you're going to get a worse deal than somebody who doesn't spend. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't really like that. Exactly. I, I, would love, I would love all the deals to be the same. Because in, in other games, they, they really are. I don't know. These other games I watch or I played, the, the deal will be the same for everyone regardless. And it'll be either, I don't know, a decent deal or a high spender deal, but it'll always be the same. Yeah. With, with us, it fluctuates, right? We have energy deals all the time. We have shard deals all the time. And for some reason, they're, all, they're always different, right? Yeah, that's true. They're always weird and different. I don't, I, don't, I don't really get why they're so different all the time. But hey, what's been going on with the deals the last, what, three, four days? Are they trying to trying to buy everybody back? Yeah, I feel like they've, they've gone a bit better. But people are still, still uh, skeptical, right? Right. Yeah, I don't, I, don't know what, like, I don't know what their angle is. What's going on here? Are they yeah. trying to, it's too late to try to buy back all the people that they've lost. But they're trying to there's they're definitely trying to sweeten it up i don't i don't know what's going on but they're trying to do something i don't have the deals because obviously i've i've purchased them unfortunately <laughs> so i i grabbed them quick that's why i have these shards over here but i'm gonna wait for i'm gonna wait for fusion so so what else you said you wanted to see so balancing yes for sure you want to see better deals uh, for everyone and i agree with that for sure we should have yeah. i think when a deal pops up we should have a good deal like a high spinner deal and a low spinner deal but both of them be equally as good right yeah, I agree with that. And also, um, Clan Boss, I think, is a big issue. Mm. I know they released Ultra Nightmare, but like today, I can't even hit night, like regular Nightmare Clan Boss because it was already down. Right. And uh, everybody misses out on rewards. So what that does is makes your makes your clan fight with each other, basically. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I mean, I I hope, man. I, I I don't know what's going on. I, I've talked to them. You know, we've all talked to them forever since 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 global release about this whole issue and i have how many people do we have in our clan right now 26 out of 30 oh, which 26, huh? which really there's probably a couple inactives 
four weeks inactive, one week inactive, six oh, wow. weeks inactive, four four days inactive. So yeah, not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't we can't keep people. Well, it's good that they're inactive because they, like you said, they'd kill. We would kill the clan boss too fast. So, you know, that's that's yeah. what that's the way it is. So it's a, it's a, it's okay that they're inactive, but it's sad that we can't keep a good, healthy clan full without having to worry about, like you said, with fighting with our clan mates to get stuff done on there. Yeah. So it's like we lost a lot of clan mates because of that. Uh, some of them don't really say anything; they just leave. Right. They just took off. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. We now, you know we have an Ice Golem tournament coming up in the next eight hours. Yeah. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see if there's any global rewards for it and if it's worth oh. people. <laughs> Hegemon. <laughs> hey, if there was a Hegemon global, I might even have to try to go for that one. That no, would be. Maybe, you know what would be crazy? If they actually gave you the Ice Golem this time. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be a cool champion. Yeah. You know, yeah. speaking of Hegemon, a lot of games, instead of giving out a super powerful champion like that they'll do something where it's just a cosmetic you know how we have our our name or or they'll do like a frame just something fancy oh, yeah, to show yeah. that hey i'm number one and i won number one mm -hmm. so that when you see their name in arena or you see their name in something else they just have like a little icon or something fancy like that yeah that's pretty cool as well so that way it gives people a reason to fight for. I mean, obviously this gave these guys a lot more to fight for spending $10,000 to get a champion, but yeah, you know, I, I just don't know how far are they going to take that? I don't know. We'll have to see because Hegemon is, Hegemon is a beast, right? Right. So yeah. How are they going to, how are they going to top Hegemon, right? I don't, do? They came out strong. They came out really strong. I don't know if they're yeah. going to put up, start putting up bad Alcazar, start putting up martyrs. Yeah, that'd be crazy. You, you know, all that kind of... Th they're going to. I mean, if they did Hegemon, why wouldn't they? But I would love mm -hmm. to see this guy as a playable character, champion, wouldn't you? Yeah, same. Ever since the, they did that ad where they talking about Ice Golem being the being a playable champion. Right. That's what I wanted. Is is that an so, old ad? Like a super old ad yeah. or something? Okay. Yeah, and also they did an ad for... Uh, you remember one of those, like, Gallic went into Psychiatrist. Right. And, and he wanted to become a healer. He doesn't want to be a DPS. <laughs> <laughs> I remember so the, ice go, the Ice Golem one too, where he came in. He was in the Psychiatrist, right? The Ice Golem? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I'd we should get like a healer Gallic. <laughs> we need it. If it's a rare, I'll take it for sure. Yeah. For sure, take it. Yeah, man. So Ali plays. Check his channel out. Check my channel out. Come see us. You know, we both do Raid Shadow Legends content all the time. I mean, what you're, up, you're uploading how often? I try to upload five days a week, right? But it's been pretty busy the past two weeks, so uh, three to four, something like that. Three to four a week. Hey, that's Not good. Yeah. That's a lot of content. That's really good. So we both upload a lot. Come check us out. Definitely come see us. And do you have any closing things you want to say to everybody? Yeah, check out Stu Gaming, man. No, no, unsubscribe <laughs> to Stu Gaming <laughs> and subscribe to Ali Plays, and we're all good. Okay, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you all soon.